Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It is time for my floss tube update with uh, yeah, just stitching progress and also uh, what my plans are for November and December, the coming two months. Um, as you can see, or maybe you have guessed, I will start with my finish. Uh, this is the kit from Riolis, Cornflowers it's called, and it was my uh, focus piece uh, this year, or the later half at least of this year. And here it is. It is finished for now. I do still have to um, uh, remove the grading lines and stuff like that, but... Um, yeah, I am super happy how this turned out. I mean, look at the colors. And uh, yeah, so much fun. There is both like confetti stitching uh, in the flower parts, but then there's also a, a bit of uh, sort of block uh, coloring uh, in the background. Uh, it's a combination of uh, full crosses, thread stitches, uh, single and double threads. So you do get a little bit of, uh, I wouldn't say, well, maybe a little bit of 3D effect, but you get a little bit more texture when you have like different thicknesses uh, of the stitches. So that is really neat. Like this stem is really sitting out um, because this, uh, around is um, 10 stitches and this are full cross uh, stitches with double thread so yeah uh, I did end up spending a little bit of time on this hang on I have to just check my notes real quick um, yeah so this is stitch on a 14 count Ada in this Riolis kit, it's a uh, stitch with also this wool acrylic blend thread. Um, if you haven't stitched with it, it does takes a little bit of while to get used to it, but um, I kind of enjoy it still. It's not my favorite thread to stitch with, but it's it's fine and it does fill out very nicely. Yeah, so I'm really, I'm really happy with this one. Uh, so for this uh, time, or in this period, like uh, like uh, September, October, I did spend first three and a half days, and then I just felt like no, I really want to finish it. So it took me another ten days to finish this project. Uh, there were a lot of threads left except for one, but I think it, that was my fault because I made a mistake uh, like early on up here. Uh, so that's why I think I ran out of one color. Uh, but otherwise, as you can see, I mean, there's loads of black left. And uh, you think maybe mm, not so much of the brown, but yeah, here. A lot of brown left and then of course a lot left from all the other colors too like the blue there are a lot left here um, so yeah there's no need to worry about running out of thread as I said except for one I think it's this one the 27 which was uh, one of these colors in um, the green ish green yellowish colors so but i think that was my fault because i did make some mistakes up here and so it probably would have lasted just fine uh, but sometimes you do need to frog and stuff and uh, so yeah <laughs> um, but other than that yeah the chart was um, really nice to work with also and this is um, this is a project that you can think uh, I think finish really fast. I did start it uh, the whole thing. I started it uh, August fourth, twenty twenty two, 
and I then finished it on October 23rd this year 2023 uh, so yeah As you can see, it's it's uh, the colors. I mean, if you like these types of colors, this is such a nice project to work with. Um, so I can highly, highly recommend. And I, I'm probably going to start another one of the realist kits uh, with um, this type of thread. I think just to have, I have a couple of realist kits uh, in my uh, drawer. So yeah. But super happy about this finish. Let's move on. So here we have uh, the dancing party. And also I'm making a slow but steady progress and I'm enjoying this so much. It is satisfying to have a project that you can just have um, the whole height of it just in the, in the frame. I think the whole thing fits in my cue snap. And um, yeah, I did uh, film a little bit, a short video about the backstitching. I did end up uh, changing a little bit in his face because when I did the full um, backstitching with the nose, I think it looked weird. So I, I, I ended up redoing that one. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it does really make a difference when you add the backstitching to make the details pop. Um, I really like her dress and as you can see we are moving into um, uh, the other lady back here with the blue beautiful blue dress so that will be exciting this is stitch on 16 count Ada and I spent about four days maybe a little bit more four and a half days um, and uh, yeah and eventually I'm gonna just uh, deal with all the grading of the rest of the project. So, on to the next one. So, the second project I want to show you um, is uh, my European town. And as you can see, I'm making uh, progress working my way down. This is like the first page and then this uh, bit comes on a different page. So yeah, but I am completing it and I'm loving the colors here with uh, in the f uh, flowers. And again, this is also so satisfying. I think I'm gonna just stitch all the way down and then do the back stitching for this part before I move on. I think I haven't decided yet. Uh, but yeah, this is stitch on a 14 count Ada, uh, and I spent about uh, maybe five days almost on, uh, I think, this part, this part here. Uh, so yeah, and again, this is also, I do just grade one bit at a time, and this is a big project, so I have, ooh, I have a lot a lot of fabric to grid uh, but yeah I'm giving myself a little bit of a break by just doing it um, sort of like one section at a time and we'll see but yeah I think actually before uh, when I pick this up for the next time I'm actually gonna start by just gripping ahead a little bit and then reward myself with uh, stitching and trying to uh, uh, finish this whole uh, page down uh, in uh, one go well one go not one day but yeah I'm just gonna spend uh, the day I need to spend on it to just finish the whole section and then make a decision about the back stitching uh, but uh, European town so happy so much fun I can highly highly recommend uh, this this pattern or this chart super nice and so here we are at uh, the project that started my home, uh, my own personal uh, floss tube <laughs> journey, uh, a stitch in time by Amy Stewart from Heaven and Earth Design. Um, with these type of projects, it is sometimes hard to just see have I made any project uh, progress at all, uh, but I know I have, and like I said, I'm not, I'm not in a rush. 
I know that um, I know that this is gonna take me forever if I ever get to finish it <laughs> I hope I do uh, but just the satisfaction putting down the stitches um, doing a little bit of cross country which I really like and then again returning a bit to parking which I also enjoy because the satisfaction of getting these even lines as you complete uh, the rows is um, yeah very satisfying so diagonal I really like the diagonal uh, stitching here um, what I have noticed is that I think I prefer doing it instead of doing it by 10 I think I'm gonna do it uh, by 20 and at first I thought that that was gonna confuse my head a lot but it didn't it actually felt like I'm completing twice as much with the same amount of work which sounds a bit strange because it's not of course it's the same amount of work but when you do it uh, two rows or two diagonals so to speak like 20 stitches uh, uh, with uh, at a time you do not need to uh, restart or sort of thread uh, re-thread and de-thread and and change threads as often as you do uh, because if I would stitch 10 and then 10 again then I have to um, you know take the needle off the thread and re-thread twice as many times it feels like so for me uh, doing it by 20 works super super nice so I think I'm gonna um, continue doing that and see uh, and see how that works for me anyways um yeah this is my progress so far I am loving this I mean as I say and I am sorry I repeat myself but this is really uh, my favorite 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 thing full coverage heaven and earth 25 count um, one over one yeah this makes me super happy I spent about three and a half to four days on this so far I completed 20,437 stitches which is 2.87 percent so yeah <laughs> It's uh, it's a long ways yet to go. I don't mind at all, though. So we continue to the next one. So this is Barn Dance by Carolyn Manning Designs. It is my first one from them, and uh, it is a lot of fun. I recommend this if you are looking for something really relaxing. Uh, it is uh, very nice and you stitch you make progress so fast so I think I spent actually I think I spent just like one day and I made quite a lot of progress uh, so far I completed 5302 stitches which is almost 15 percent so yeah it is easy to make progress on this one it is stitched on 16 count and um, yeah uh, to grid or not to grid that is totally up to you of course for me it's always helpful to grid just be aware the pattern is um, divided by 4 and by 9 so you do end up a little bit sort of like off grid which is totally fine by me just be aware so you don't get fooled uh, because I grid by 10 and the pattern is built by 4 and 9 so you do end up a little bit as you can see off the grid line um, but yeah super fun uh, I highly highly recommend if you haven't tried it um, I'm really enjoying this on to spring flowers from Luca S uh, I'm working my way uh, through the chart 
I'm trying to do it like one object at a time, I'd say. Well, sort of. Not quite, but sort of. So this is how far I've gotten. Loving the bird. Uh, doing the, these flowers and the bumblebee. Working my way down. There are some blue flowers. Are they forget-me-nots? I think, maybe, or something. Uh, and then I'm going to move across and just do all these pretty pinks and, yeah. I ended up spending about two days uh, on this part. I did finish up a little bit in the leaf and the... Uh, the stems I think uh, but then mainly I worked on the bird this is stitch on a 16 count Ada if you are interested in knowing that and this one of course I graded the whole project at once because it's a small one so this I will hopefully will be able to finish next year I hope <laughs> but who knows uh, yeah, so that is my progress on spring flowers from Luca S. Uh, this is meeting on the turret stairs. And again, with these um, big, big projects, it's hard maybe to um, <laughs> show you how much progress you made because it doesn't seem that much, does it? But it is. Uh, again diagonal and again I have also on this one tried the instead of just doing 10 a 10 uh, stitch uh, diagonal I did the 20 and I yeah that is definitely gonna be my method going forward diagonal and doing it by 20 instead and then we'll see but the parking and the and the cuss country but this is yeah this is my progress so far i spent actually f five almost six days on this um because i had i think i had a 10 uh, a 10 stitch diagonal to complete and then i did want to try the 20 and just finish the whole thing the whole diagonal so that took me a few days and I didn't want to stop before I finished and then yeah so this is uh, how I'm going to move forward uh, I am also thinking of just yeah I think I'm gonna because I want to keep this in the cure snap Yeah, so I want to keep this in my cue snap right, and I don't want to remove it just to complete a diagonal. I also have some longer ones, so I can keep. Um, hang on, so I can keep uh, the sides like this, and then I can switch these out to a longer one if I want to keep it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna then just do the diagonal down here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish it on a straight line or if I'm gonna try to do some sort of um, either a zigzagging down here or just complete the full square and just do uh, every other. Haven't decided that yet, but definitely because um, th this is this is my favorite frame. It is. Uh, do you measure from the inside or from the outside? I don't know, but you can look. Can you see that? So if I measure from the outside, it's like 11 and a half inches. Uh, if I measure from the inside, it's like nine and a half, sort of. I don't know. This is my favorite size. I have a smaller one, which I also kind of like just to get started. Because uh, sometimes it's um, this one is too big and you have to reach around to start up here uh, so yeah I could move it a bit more or I can choose the smaller one so I have a smaller one that I use when I normally when I just starting from uh, scratch yeah but anyways uh, this is again a big project so I will take my time with it 
and try to just enjoy it and we'll see when I get around to grading all of this fabric. I am in su such an awe for people who uh, uh, grid the whole project at once because uh, that must take crazy long time. But anyways, I do it in bits and uh, yeah. So uh, did I say, yeah, this is a heaven and earth design, 25 count. Uh, Logana even with super 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 happy that I started this project another really fun 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 project is um, finery of nature from dimensions gold collection and this is also a project that you can make uh, progress on really really fast uh, and as you can see, I am, I only have this square left. Uh, super fun. Uh, I enjoy this so much. And you stitch, stitch this up really fast. It is stitched on a 14 count Ada and I spent about three and a half days on, on this square. So, and I think that is about the amount of time. Let me check. Yeah, I mean, it's around three to five days on each square, depending on how much. Yeah, because this one was the most confetti with a nest and stuff. Uh, this is less confetti, so it's definitely faster. So I'm definitely going to finish uh, this last square in just one, I mean, one sitting, it will take me maybe three to four days, but I think what will take the longest uh, are all the specialty stitches. There are French knots, I think. Hang on, let me check, I can show you. There are French knots that are cording and catching, isn't there? Does it say on this one? No, maybe not. I'm not going to show you the chart, but I can show you this one. Yeah, there's couching, there's cording, and there are French knots. So yeah, I ha there's a little bit there, and I think that will take me longer, <laughs> uh, a lot longer. The French knots, uh, I'm not so good at not loving it but uh, they do look nice once you get them in place so yeah that will be a bit of a hassle but again it's a kit that I can recommend Dimensions Gold are um, yeah their kits are just marvelous I love the threads they have their own thread I think um, and the charts are uh, I do sometimes wish uh, that there were different charts for just the, uh, the stitches and then uh, another chart uh, with all the specialty stitching like the back stitching and um, everything else which they do have like um, uh, some other uh, some other kits do have that like Lady Stitch uh, for instance they have a different and Lenarte or Lanart, Lanart, whatever. Uh, they also have different um, uh, different charts for just the stitches and then for the specialty stitches. So that's the only thing I guess uh, that I wished for uh, with the dimensions gold also. But you know, it's it's working out fine anyways. Cause and this chart was super easy to read also because it's not um, it's not too big and it's not super detailed. So yeah, but uh, there's my progress, a lot of fun. And time for my beloved pandemic from Long Dog Samplers. And uh, uh, I mean, every time I take this out, oh, look at that. I mean, this pattern, this chart is so beautiful it's intricate it's funny it's uh, like funny like in fun little details and it's just 
beautiful patterns um, and yeah so much details and so uh, so enjoyable to stitch so here's my progress and I did end up spending uh, let me see almost like yeah five to six days six days almost a week but not quite on this because once you get going uh, it's a lot of fun and I actually think I completed um, yeah like uh, this uh, it's like a page I think yeah um, the whole thing here and again it's stitched with the silk flats from Mrs. Sedas on Etsy which I can highly highly recommend it's a super nice thread to stitch with and it, it's stitched on an 18 count Ada and again this was my first long dog sampler this was my first uh, sort of sampler or more tra uh, what I traditionally think of as a sampler and I've seen other people stitch it on beautiful linens and stuff but I I wanted to make it easy on myself and I I mean I really like to stitch on Ada and it is for me <laughs> at least easier so yeah that's why I chose Ada even though you can see a lot of the fabric but I mean I don't mind I really don't mind uh, I travel uh, I do also travel as you can see I'm showing you the back Oof, sorry <laughs> but I do travel a bit which is not ideal for Ada because it will show through um, but I decided to not drive myself crazy and just go for it I don't travel insane distances uh, but yeah so like if I would hold this up then it would definitely show through so that's the that's the downside of stitching on Ada uh, uh, these threads show up so much easier or yeah more clear which is uh, a bit of a shame but uh, like I said I'm not I'm not too bothered actually because what you could do is just put a very dark background underneath it uh, if you want to frame it uh, then the white won't pop as much but you know you can try and solve it in different ways anyways enough <laughs> uh, so yeah pandemic oh look at that it's beautiful thank you long dog samplers here we have one of my uh, new starts um, this is uh, from dimensions gold collection also uh, wreath of all seasons And this is the progress that I've made. I spent about four or five days on this. And uh, well, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to sort of cut it off. Um, because you have uh, the winter part of the wreath here I think it's winter spring summer and then fall up here so what I am planning to do with this one is st just to stitch one season at a time so I'm gonna finish it up to the winter and just finish the winter part what I want to do with the lettering and the writing I don't know because it says spring somewhere here and um, yeah we'll see we'll take that uh, as it come it's sort of satisfying to just complete one section for me I think so <laughs> and um, yeah this was just a fitting because it's winter and we're moving into winter so I wanted to do that one uh, but yeah maybe I'll just leave all the rest of the writing for later or I know some people are just skipping it and then doing the whole wreath first and then do their uh, the words and I think some people don't even do the words at all because they they don't like writing or stitching the 
letters but uh, yeah I don't mind I actually think it's really nice and the color of this is so beautiful it's a, like the sage or um, pale greenish uh, color that I really really like this is stitch on uh, 18 count ivory ada and it's dimensions gold uh, collection so it's really really nice to stitch so uh, hopefully I'll finish um, the rest of the winter section uh, on this one uh, not before Christmas well maybe before Christmas uh, maybe not but at least um, but at least I think um, this year maybe I'll have time to stitch between like in the um, between Christmas and New Year's I'm probably gonna have more time to stitch on it yeah we'll see but yeah I'm enjoying it it's so much fun um, and I recommend it it's a bit tricky to work with the charts but uh, not too much because the sections doesn't come like divided in the chart you have some part of the winter on one part of the chart and then yeah it's a whole thing i don't mind too much i i am used to working on uh, with the paper charts even though uh, with the um, with the digital patterns and all that it is uh, very nice so yeah paper charts can be tricky but it's not it's not too bad and this is definitely worth it oh and then there's of course my little grumpy red fairy that I love so much <laughs> yeah look at her yeah here I hang on there we go here I wanted really really much to just uh, finish this swirly thing uh, so I spent a lot of time uh, on that because uh, here there's a lot of color blocking uh, a lot of black and dark blue and uh, yeah it was really satisfying to just get this whole swirl done this is grumpy red fairy from uh, by um, uh, jasmine beckett griffith it's from heaven and earth design 25 count one over one uh, i am so in love i spent about i don't know three four days on this one uh, I have completed 19,641 stitches, which is actually almost 52%. So I'm making progress and it's going to be super nice to just work my way up. Uh, or maybe I will work my way across here and then um, complete the face and the wings on this side. Uh, I don't know we'll see but it's definitely gonna be so much fun to just see the face come together and then uh, adding the wings on this side so this is my progress so far and yeah i might though uh, put this to rest a little bit because i am picking up my um the other adjustment becky griffith that i have the little match girl uh, i am gonna start stitching on her uh, or continue stitching on her uh, fairly soon so we'll see but uh, yeah so much fun and again I love Jasmine Becky Griffith her artwork so this is how far I got so so happy with that oh and then hang on hang on hang on I'm coming I'm coming and then there <laughs> I have my other new start and I was hesitant should I start this this is another kind of big one uh, but then yeah I went for it and I'm so so happy I did because this project is oh, just lovely it is um, holiday at seaside from let it stitch it comes with a pre graded fabric and uh, yeah I spent first just two days to complete this these first two squares 
um, not just I did the prep sort of and since the fabric is pre-gridded all I had to do was uh, fill in the numbers which makes it easier for me to just follow along in the in the chart uh, I did take uh, a few moments to just look through the charts because it is divided as uh, this is like the first part of the chart and the page um, then there's the middle part and then there is another page for like the bottom so I just wanted to check that out and just make a decision I think I will complete the first page and then go down and then so I had to restart the pages so this is page one this will be I think page six and uh, this will be page whatever so yeah I think I will do that uh, and then there are some there's some beading in here there's of course back stitching and I will just work out how I will do that the, the beading I will save to last the back stitching maybe I will just fill it in as I go or yeah we'll see I haven't decided but as you can see I mean it's there's the colors are beautiful um, really nice colors here in the sky there is a Christmas tree there's a cabin or the house uh, yeah I highly highly recommend this is so much fun and on this chart they you do have the stitches on one set uh, on the paper chart there's one set for the cross stitch and then there's one set for the other stitches so first it looks like there's about like 50 pages and it's not uh, it's just that there's two sets of the same chart for the back back stitching and all the rest also I think Lenarte if I'm not mistaken I think they have like double sided so one one side of the page is the stitches and the back side and that is and for and the back uh, is for um, uh, for uh, the back stitching and the rest anyways uh, yeah I really 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 <laughs> enjoying this uh, also if you think actually if you think that this is oh this is way too big I am sure I am not 100% sure but I'm almost sure that I've seen just a section of this and I wonder if it's not this part as a smaller one like a close-up from this if you just want to make a small one I'm not sure it might have been just a part that was very similar to this um, but it could be that you can get this in like a different version or yeah parts of it parts of the this artwork as a smaller project I don't know but I uh, like I said I, uh, I have uh, had my eyes on this for a little while and I'm really happy I bought it and I'm really happy that I started it it is stitched on 16 count Ada uh, yes and as you can see here uh, when it comes to uh, um, and let us stitch they do show what types of stitches so there's crosses there are back stitching there are French knots and there are some beating as you can see 16 count uh, pre-gridded 73 colors and the size of the project made in Moldova it is anchor thread and uh, yeah so super happy uh, I'm gonna leave this out for you to look at I'm just gonna mention just shortly very shortly uh, it's for the coming two months I am gonna focus on the winter th stuff I have uh, the Christmas tree of wishes that I started last year around Christmas so I will pick that one up again I will pick up the little match girl again 
I will try to finish the winter part of the wreath of all seasons. And then of course this I will continue stitching on this beautiful, beautiful project. Um I might I might be in the mood to start the other winter uh, themed kit from dimensions. Uh, yeah. Because I did buy two, I think. I have I have a couple of others. Uh, I have uh, the more, more Christmassy one, but then also the m just more wintry one. Uh, so I might want to start that one up too. We'll see. I haven't 100% decided yet. Uh, the Mirabilia. Uh, I don't know why it's so hard for me to start the Mirabilia because I have almost everything. I think I have most of the threads. I have all the specialty threads. I have the beads. I have the fabric. I have the charts. I'm just not feeling it right now. And I'm... I think I'm gonna wait for a little bit because I don't want to put myself in the situation of starting something and then you know when it doesn't feel right you sort of just put it aside and then it just gets harder for me at least it gets harder to pick back up again instead of waiting to start it when I feel like yeah when I have the inspiration and um, yeah so I'm probably gonna just put a little bit of a pause on the mirabilia's and um, yeah but I'm definitely gonna start them but that might not happen until next year so I want I just want to uh, want to focus mostly on the winter stuff the Christmas stuff and uh, also uh, some of my full coverage like sister moon uh, there's a lot of background there that's a lot of 310 and I don't know how much of that of the sister moon I'm gonna put on camera because it's just 310 it's just black black with some 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 uh, dark blues and stuff so uh, and there's a quite a bit of that uh, so I might just do that off camera I don't know but I do want to spend time on it because I want to make progress and I want to get to uh, uh, the beautiful beautiful woman in the in the middle so uh, yeah I think I'm gonna focus mainly on that and then after that we'll just see what happens uh, but I really do hope that you um, keep watching I really appreciate it it is so uh, nice to see that uh, many of you just choose to have my videos as company while you stitch um, it's all I hope for and uh, yeah I'm super happy and very very grateful so I hope to see you soon um, and I'm not gonna do another floss tube uh, until the end of the year and then do like a full year thingy uh, so I'm not if we're not speaking uh, I'm just gonna actually already now wish you a happy Christmas and a happy new year and uh, a lot a lot of happy stitching thank you so much for watching and like i said hope to see you in the next one take care bye